Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Get your calendars marked because there are some huge updates coming for the Boeing 747-8 and the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Now, to be clear, these are not third-party mods. These are updates for the default Asobo aircraft, meaning all of this goodness will be coming to the Xbox version too. So let's pick it apart. So recently, Asobo hosted a developer's live stream on their Twitch channel. I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, we were treated to some details of their collaboration with Working Title and how the avionics for these aircraft are getting a major overhaul. So starting with the Dreamliner, we are getting new LNAV and VNAV systems, and they made a point of saying how the VNAV is going to be performance-based VNAV. So it will give you uh, econ speeds, i.e. the optimal speeds for the lowest operating costs, while also allowing you to set your own cost indexes if you're happy maybe to burn a little bit of extra fuel in the interest of time. Further to this, we've got a complete auto throttle system with, and I quote, all the right modes. We're also getting an update to the screens as well as an update to the HUD in the 787 Dreamliner with a decluttered mode um, to help us out with uh, limited or zero visibility takeoffs and landings. Now to give you a little bit more context on kind of what to expect in terms of detail, um, they said we should expect something above the CJ4 in terms of detail and a little bit under the longitude. So to top it all off, all of this will come with an updated flight model and engine sounds. And it's a similar story when we move over to the 747-8. It too is getting the uh, working title version of the LNAV and the performance-based VNAV with the econ speeds and the cost indexes. It's also getting the uh, complete auto throttle and the overhauled screens. And like the 787 Dreamliner, it'll also be receiving an updated flight model, but no mention of sounds in the case of the 747. So I know what some of you are thinking, what about the existing mods? So one question I've seen going around is, what does this mean for the current crop of third-party mods for the 747 and 787 Dreamliner? We've got the very popular Salty Simulations mod for the 747, and there's the Heavy Division mod for the 787 Dreamliner. Does this update to the default planes make these mods irrelevant, or might it even stop them uh, from functioning? As for the issue of functionality, I would hope that the uh, Salty and the Heavy Division uh, devs could fork the new version of these planes and continue their work using the new version of the plane as their base to build on. As for making the update irrelevant, I don't really buy it. As someone um, who's got some experience in software development in my past, in my experience, I found that a rising tide lifts all ships. You know, yes, it can be jarring and it can mean some extra work in the short term, but oftentimes the payoff in the long run can be substantial. Now, when it comes to software development, it's very common to have a feature list that grows beyond your ability to deliver it all in a timely fashion. So by having high quality avionics added in by default, it could perhaps free up the salty and the heavy division devs to perhaps turn their focus to other elements of the aircraft where they maybe want to add value. My hope is, is that in the long run, this could be a big win for everyone. So all of this goodness is coming on June the 23rd. So get the calendars marked and get subscribed because you can bet we're gonna be flying these planes once they launch. We go live on the channel a few times a week. Uh, so it'd be great to have you along for the ride. Hitting that like button also really helps this video and the channel. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please, 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 do consider leaving a like for us. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.